I'm Father James Solari. I'm 83 years old. And I was ordained back in 1955. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. I've served the people of God in North Carolina since the diocese was formed in 1972. Well, when the diocese was formed, there was great excitement all around because this was something new. We had been part of the larger diocese of Raleigh, but that was a long distance away for the people in this area. And so each parish felt like, well, this is a new beginning for us, and we have many things that we can do on our own here to make the church more effective in this part of North Carolina. It was 10 years ago in 2003 that I was ordained as the fourth Bishop of Charlotte. I still reflect on the great faith, vision, generosity, and sacrifice of those who have gone before us. Our diocese now looks to the future with plans to strengthen our Catholic faith. We have been richly blessed. With those blessings comes the responsibility to pass on to future generations all that we have received. I'm Father John Eckert. I'm a priest of the Diocese of Charlotte. I was ordained in uh, June of 2010, and I've been pastor here at St. John the Baptist here in Tryon, North Carolina, since July of 2012. St. John the Baptist is a wonderful community. Uh, we have about 400 families all together here in various age levels. We probably have about 90 kids in our faith formation program. Were you here last week? No, okay, I wasn't either actually. I'd, I'd After wanna... four years of undergrad at St. Louis University, um, I knew that I needed to give the seminary a try. Essentially from the time we got up until the time we went to bed, our days were pretty much packed in making sure that you know every different area of our lives that needed to be developed, needed to be formed to help us to be good priests was touched. And so obviously in the midst of all that, there's not any time to hold down a part-time job to support yourself. So thank goodness, you know, the diocese pays for the seminary education. Seminary education is an investment. The men who are going to come and be the pastors of our parishes, be the ones who are anointing you when you're in the hospital, that are baptizing your children and giving them First Communion, that are the chaplains in the high school. These men will be the priests of the diocese, and so we invest in them now uh, during this important time of formation that they might be the priests that they're called to be. So the implication seems to be what? What decision has Grady made? He wants to be with her, not that I just leave in Emily and me, you can't be there. I want to be with My her. name is Priscilla Del Aguila Vienrich, and I came from Peru. And I came to the United States because my parents wanted a better educational experience for me and my sisters. The tuition assistance has provided me with a stellar education here amazing connections and teachers, and not only for me, but for my older sister, who attends Lehigh University and is getting a PhD in sociology now. Because we don't have enough tuition assistance, we're having to turn students away, and tuition assistance will allow us to diversify our student body. I look forward to graduating this year and coming back and making the, commu the Bishop community grow in every single way possible. It's such a great school to attend, and I'm so honored and blessed to be at this school. Here at Queen of the Apostles Church, we have been blessed to grow to more than a thousand families, and that's why we need a new church. At St. John Newman, our faith formation program has grown from 350 to 600 children. We need to convert these offices into classrooms. At Our Lady of the Assumption, we are adding grade levels to our school. This gym, which also is our cafeteria, needs to expand. Here at St. Anne's, we want to beautify our church by creating a mural for this aft's wall. We hope that this mural will be one of the most significant pieces of religious art here in the Diocese of Charlotte. Our parish in Murphy is relatively small, but we still have a lot of challenges. As you can see, we've got grass growing through our parking lot. We have a great pavilion back here, which is a, a wonderful place for gatherings, but it has no bathrooms. At Pius X, we'll be using the funds to build a new parish center and office complex and a new primary education wing. 
As you can see, we're standing here in the Bishop McGinnis Indoor Athletic Facility, which is the home not only of basketball and other athletic programs at Bishop, but also the home of our performing arts programs. As you can imagine, acoustics are terrific in this facility for basketball games, but not so great for drama and music. We need additional facilities which will allow us to nurture and develop the talents of the whole student. I like living at Good Shepherd's Garden because of the good friendship and the quietness. I have a 10-year-old toy poodle named Pierre because he's a wee Frenchman <laughs> and we talk, call him that. He's, he's a lot of company, any pet is. I live independently and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I can cook what I like eat when I want, and share with others. A hallmark of our Judeo-Christian religious tradition and a corporal work of mercy is to provide shelter to those in need. The Diocese of Charlotte Housing Corporation builds and operates housing facilities for seniors and low-income and vulnerable individuals. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> Students often react to the intellectual freedom of a college campus in ways that are confrontational to religion. There's so much temptation out in college. There's people are partying, people are doing, you know, a whole bunch of things, transitioning to an adult. When I first came to college, I really didn't go to church that much because I was sort of in this, like, I'm going to do me phase. No, that was a great thing. That was a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm listening, I'm listening yeah. to you. Like, this all sounds good, but I thought you started off. What I like about campus ministry is that it's my home away from home. I can come here and I have a group of friends that's pretty much family to me. Wednesday nights, um, we come in and we are provided a free dinner, and it's a, just a great time for fellowship. Tonight, for the evening meal, I'm, I'm making chicken parmesan. I want to offer God thanks for such a wonderful retreat this past weekend. I Campus ministry God. provides students with the tools that they need to express their Catholic heritage on a modern day college campus. I really like that I can always come downstairs, like where our chapel is, our little worship space, and just kind of like go in and talk to God whenever I want to. I'm looking forward in faith. In hope and love. I look forward in faith, hope, and love. I look forward in faith, hope, and love. We look forward in faith, hope, and love. I look forward in faith, hope, and love. And I invite you to join me and thousands of our sisters and brothers in Christ in an effort to invest in the future of our Catholic family. The results of our efforts and sacrifice will be a stronger community of faith better prepared to fulfill the mission of the Diocese of Charlotte, the teachings of Jesus' gospel, and the call to Christian stewardship. May God continue to bless our diocese, and may God bless you.